Right, so what I'd say for number two is just do a little table. And it's purchasing CDs. Okay, so you, you buy CDs and you pay money. So we'll look at like number of CDs and then the cost. God, this is old school. Nobody uses CDs anymore. Obviously. Oh uh, yeah, but you wouldn't you wouldn't sign up to that to that club there, would you? I mean like ten thirty dollars and then ten dollar for every city? No way. <laughs> anyway. Um so for one C D just so we're just gonna try to calculate the cost for one, two, three, four CDs, just to get an idea for the formula, right? So one C D be just thirty dollars plus ten for the one C D, right? So it'd be forty. That make sense? So two dot two CDs be thirty plus um, wouldn't that be 2 times 10? Right? So $50 and so on, right? So, right. So, so, fi so put in X and then find the formula. So, like, the trick is, you know, what would the cost be for X CDs? Right? Take your time. Well, not too close. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it'd be kind of like this, right? Or, or ten. It's because it, it's ten dollars for each CD plus the thirty, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. So thirty plus ten x or ten x plus thirty or whatever. You guys don't have to use x. Choose like n or c or any letter you want. But yeah, so we have the cost, um, you know, so our formula could look something like this, you know, y equals 30 plus 10x, something like that. And you don't have to use x and y, you can use any letters you want. Uh, so yeah. Yep. And is this linear and y? So this is, for three CDs cost 60 bucks, and four CDs cost like 70, and by the way, everybody up and everyone watching from home, I just made up these numbers. One, two, I just made them up. One, two, three, four. Right? You, you guys can make up any numbers you want. But but for it for the same increase on the inputs, we have it keeps going up by ten here, doesn't it? Right. And so that's what makes it a linear function. In fact, if you graphed out, it would be a straight line. Let me see if I can graph really quickly. It's going to be sloppy, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the x-axis is, uh, let's say, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's uh, 50. Yeah, this is a really sloppy graph, but... Uh, 1 costs 40, and 2 costs 50, and 3 costs 60, and 4 costs 70, and sure enough, these points should be in a straight line. So a linear function has two, two ways to tell it's linear. One is that the outputs go up by the same number. Another thing is when you plot the points, it's a straight line, like that. Alright? So that's why it's linear. All right, so uh, 20 CDs, which the a quiz might say, um, we just go, okay, we got to pay the $30 membership fee plus $10 per CD, so 10 times 20. So that's giving us 30 plus 200, so $230 is the cost of 20 CDs, right? Perfect.